Hello, me candles. It's Katie with Light in the Darkness ASMR. Today, I am doing the 1K q and I um, was supposed to do a live for the celebration, but for some reason YouTube is saying I'm not eligible. Even though I've reached that 1K milestone, as well as not having anything against my channel, so it's a little crazy. <clears throat> If you missed out on this opportunity to ask me a question, comment below, and I will make sure I do another Q&A in the future. So sit back, relax, 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 and hope you enjoy getting to know me. <laughs> One is your favorite thing to do on a rainy day. Hmm. Well, I love rainy days. I think they're the best kind of days. Unless you're having to run errands. <laughs> that it fucking blows. <laughs> um, on a rainy day, I like to sit around the house, have some soup, a grilled cheese, kick back and watch some Netflix, um, sleep. <laughs> I think that rainy days are the best days to kind of sleep. I don't know, I just... I think they're awesome. And honestly, I kind of feel like those rainy days kind of make you feel the, you know? Maybe that's just me. I don't know. Where do you live? And what do you do for a living? Love you. I love you too. <laughs> I um, actually live in Florida. In the USA. Um, I don't feel like saying any more than that, just because of safety reasons. <laughs> For a living. Um, well, honestly, right now I'm not doing much of anything, but YouTube and my Patreon. Um, I'm still working on a career choice. Uh, I, as I am in college, I took the semester off due to my grandmother's passing in December, so I didn't want to flunk out a semester, so, you know. Um, I would like to see myself eventually do social work, because that's what I'm working towards, but, yeah. Other than that... I basically just work from home. <laughs> Let's see, the next question. What are your favorite activities to do in the summertime? Oh, girl. I'm a summer baby. My element is water, so anything having to do with water. The pool, the lake, the ocean, tubing, swimming, um, jumping off of cliffs in the water, anything I want to do with water, I'm pretty much down. Um, water parks. <laughs> um, wakeboarding, kind of here and there on that. <laughs> Let's see. I'm trying to think what other... I guess if it's not too hot, I used to, um baseball, not softball, but baseball with my dad. Those are some things I like to do. I used to like go tanning in the summertime a lot when I was younger, but not so much anymore. It's more like high school days. <laughs> Next question. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Oh man. This is a tough one. <laughs> um, it's not really that tough, but <sighs> mm. so I would be really awkward about this one. <laughs> no, it's kind of a serious thing to talk about, but I when I picture my life ten years from now. To see myself having children 
um, if my body will allow that. I have some health issues. I just hope that it doesn't come down to me not being able to have children, or that would be tremendously heartbreaking um, for me because I have wanted children. <laughs> And the whole idea of motherhood since I was probably five years old. I have dreamt of being a mother. It hasn't happened yet, but maybe one day. Other than that, I am working towards a career for college. Whether that happens or not, I hope that I have... <sighs> so tired for some reason whether that happens or not um all I can do is just continue to work towards that which is social work um let's see what else I mean you know I used to think marriage that I had to get married um to be with the one that I love well I don't know, after being the child through a divorce, um, that kind of scarred me. And then to be in a relationship with my fiancé who was married and got a divorce, well, he didn't ask for it, but he basically got it ripped away from him and his child ripped from him. Uh, it's just really hard for me to kind of push myself towards marriage because there are fears that it could be ripped away at any point. And honestly, it's kind of, in a sense, it feels like marriage is almost like a piece of paper which it's more than that. It's much more than that. I know that, but it's just... I don't know. My thoughts and opinions on marriage have changed so much. Um, the way I see it is being with the right one doesn't actually have to consist of you being married with them. You can still live life without marriage. That's just kind of where I'm at. Um... Whether my fiancé and I get married or not, I don't know. <laughs> We're happy the way we are right now, so... It's... There's no rush. No rush. Uh... Anything else in ten years? Well, I mean, a lot can happen in ten years. I, uh, really hope this channel will be grown <laughs> quite a bit in ten years. I hope that are still around because <laughs> I sure hope to be whether I'm as active or not I hope to be around still for that I think that's about all I have for the 10 years <laughs> I don't really know what else to say <laughs> um, how did you discover ASMR and who was your first ASMR is you are Oh, this is so easy. I first started watching ASMR, gosh, when I was in high school. Um, I believe it was like 2010, 2011. Sorry, there's a freaking bug in here and I don't know what's up. The bug's about to be shown what's up. But, <laughs> anyways, it was like 2010 or 2011, one of those. And I, like, it's weird. <laughs> but like my body was hurting so much from working that day <laughs> that I was watching like foot reflexology and trying to figure out how to like massage my foot. And this lady had such a soothing voice. And I was like, what the hell? This is so nice. And I would listen to just that video and like not even watch her talking about foot reflexology. It was just, I would listen to her, and then there was this recommended video of an ASMRist that came up, and her name 
which I am a subscriber and I talk to her. Um, Starlight Whispers, ASMR. <laughs> you were the first ASMR artist I watched, and I freaking love you. <laughs> Still watch your videos, and she is so underrated, you guys. She's like, I don't know, like 20, 30,000 subscribers. This girl should be like up there, like 800,000 subs or plus. Like, she's so amazing and like so awesome. She's my favorite AS smartest. And I think her first video that I watched was like a, um, like a friend does a damn bug. <laughs> I don't know where they're coming from. <clears throat> she was doing like a um, like a makeup, like a friend doing your makeup, or like a a salon, like a makeup artist. <gasps> keep yawning. I've had plenty of sleep today. But I will link her channel in the pinned comment section. Starlight Whispers ASMR. Um, how did you and your fiance meet? <laughs> well, we met at a marina in my hometown. I was fishing with um, actually my ex-boyfriend. <laughs> uh, the one that I made the domestic violence video about. And my experience, yeah, that one. Um, we had met it was actually his job down there, my fiance's job at the time, was doing security at a marina. And I got introduced to him and just casually started talking to him and um, started coming around him more. And he became, like, we became really good friends. And then he just flat out told me his feelings for me and we started dating and it was a real freaking spark and it was like four months into our relationship he asked me if I wanted to marry him and I said yes <laughs> and here we are let's see four years and one month later no we're not married but we're still together <laughs> but yeah, I love him. He's a sweetie. Uh, if you could live anywhere in the world, where would you live? Oh man, that is so tough. Because for me, it's always about being with the people you love. Um, and if you're not with them, then it's kind of weird, you know what I mean? Like, home is when you're with people, so I've always wanted to live in either Australia, uh, California. If you don't know this, I'm from California. That's always felt like home. Um, or in, like, southern, like, the Keys, <laughs> like, Florida Keys. Or maybe Costa Rica. I don't know. So many places. <laughs> I could never make up my mind. Um, do you ever plan on having kids? I may have already answered this. <laughs> in the where do you see yourself in 10 years? Um, yes, I plan on having kids. Um, unfortunately, my body has yet to allow me to have children. I, um, this may be a bit too personal for the world of YouTube, but, um, I don't mind. Uh, you all care about me and you deserve to know a little bit. I'm not gonna get too 
about it, but I have some health issues and I'm kind of concerned that I may not get the chance to have children <clears throat> or it may be taken from me. I have not had a diagnosis. That is one thing that I need to be seen for because I have been having issues with myself for a while. Uh, specifically the whole year of 2019 until present day. Um, so yeah, I, I have been dreaming of being a mother. Just the dream of having kids one day since I was five. So it's, without a doubt, I would love to have at least one child of my own. <laughs> Although I know that wouldn't be enough. I've always wanted to have three children. Um, let's see. How old am I? I am 26 years old. My birthday is July 20th, uh, 1993. If you didn't know this, I also share a birthday with Terry Irwin, crocodile hunter wife. <clears throat> Let's see. What's something that no one knows about you? Mm. I don't know. Oh, man, let me think about this. Okay. So. I mean, I guess it's kind of something that, um, not everyone can say. But not everybody knows this. Um, not the YouTube world, not a lot of people in my own life. One of my my high school sweetheart, the one that I dated in high school, uh, so it's not really about me, but it's about somebody else. I dated the grandson of, uh, I dated the music manager's grandson of Hank William Jr. Yeah. So if that doesn't make sense to you, there's Hank William Sr. He died at 29. He had a son that was three years old. Hank William Jr. Um, he had a music manager at one point. Uh, J.R. Smith. Well, his grandson. I dated him for like a long time. We actually, I thought we were going to get married at one point, but life happened and I changed and we fell apart. <laughs> but, um, that is something <laughs> that not everybody can say. Um, no, he's not still the music manager for Hank Jr. Uh, and speaking of that, I also had one of Hank Jr.'s jackets um, that was given to me by my stepdad. Another thing that people may or may not know about me is um, I can uh, a lot of people don't like this but I can connect with the other side. Um, I have a spiritual gift. Uh, I was, I died when I was little, um, when I was born, and when I came back. I have these abilities where I can kind of reach the other side, like talk to other people that have passed, um, or they can come through to me. That doesn't necessarily mean my family, um, but others have reached out to me. I'm kind of like a lighthouse to spirits. And I can't control it. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm trying to think of what else I could say. You know, 
something people may not know, which I feel like it's very uncommon nowadays. A lot of people don't know how to drive stick. I can drive stick shift. If you're one of those people that can still drive stick shift, comment stick shift down below. <laughs> about all that I have but thank you guys for reaching out to me and asking me those questions I hope that you enjoyed this and hopefully I didn't bore you to death <laughs> but like I said if there's any more questions you want to ask me I will be trying to do another Q&A in the future so comment below and I will do them in the future <laughs>